Hello guys, this is a reading for September 6th through the 13th. This is a reading to see who's coming towards you and what they want with you, okay? <clears throat> this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Please show me who's coming towards... Did I say Capricorn? Could definitely be a Capricorn you guys are dealing with. <clears throat> Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Who's coming towards Sagittarius? You have a Libra, an Aries, or Taurus individual coming towards you. This could definitely be um, the mother of your child or somebody that you just see that has it all together. Um, somebody that you want to grow with. Somebody that wants to grow with you. Somebody that loves you. Um, this is a very caring individual here. <clears throat> the Empress. You have an empress, a very feminine energy. This this empress embodies all the queen's energy. Okay. What else do we have? Okay, here we go. This person single. Virgo energy here with the nine of pentacles. Confident. Um, very confident, very secure, financially even, okay? <clears throat> Six of Wands, Leo energy. This person is, this could definitely be a famous person or a person that um, is in the limelight. They're on stage. They are definitely noticed by people. Very attractive individual. I feel like this person um, is, is like really put together well, whoever this is. Very, very confident and their um, abilities, okay? <clears throat> Let's see. King of Cups there. Huh. I feel like there's somebody attached to them. A water energy though. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But, um, and it could definitely be a father figure that's attached to this person. Somebody that is probably um, supporting or what do you call it? Um, not promoting, but funding. Funding whatever this person has going on. Um, this person may come from money. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. May have been raised by a single father. This should be more about the Empress energy. The Six of Pentacles. Taurus energy there. Very fair, I feel. Nine of Swords. This person's... <laughs> whoever this is, this person feels like they're going to be single forever. They, they feel like what they want, they may not be able to have with you guys or with anyone. Almost like their standards are very high. Standards are very high here. They feel, but all I see is them wanting um, reciprocity, wanting to be with somebody, spend time with some, somebody and, and, you know, share in that with somebody. But for some reason, I don't know if this person has had many experiences where things didn't go well and um, nothing has worked out for them thus far because I feel almost like, almost like a self-pitying type of energy here. Please show me more about the Six of Wands. Then we have Scorpio energy there with Judgment. We also have Gemini energy here. Um, I feel like this person has been concentrating more on um, status and their livelihood um, for a long time and they were they were kind of neglecting like the relationship aspect of their life right now this person is is feeling like time is kind of um running out 
or you know they need to really get into a relationship be with someone for the long term they're looking for uh, ten of pentacles a committed relationship a marriage even <clears throat> they want to build, build a legacy not only with a family um, situation but their their um, their finances their material uh, world as well <clears throat> this person just wants to be successful in all aspects of their life and I don't see that that's an unreachable dream um, but they feel like time is running out here whoever this is they're determined to be successful to get what they want <clears throat> please tell me more about this king of cups energy Eight of Cups, Pisces. Yeah, this is somebody else exterior to them. And this could very well be you guys here. That's kind of, you know, behind the scenes, kind of letting this person shine and do their thing while they you guys were together. Um, but I feel like right now you are thinking about walking away because it's not this situation is not emotionally fulfilling for you or hasn't been in the past because this person was was concentrating so heavily on um, their status their material wealth you know things of that nature and not necessarily concentrating on building a strong relationship an emotionally healthy committed relationship and so you're at the point where you just thought you know I've had it but this person is determined to turn things around is the thing okay <clears throat> what does this person really want with Sagittarius what does this person really want look at this they want to be your husband or your wife. They want to love you. They want for you guys to be an emotionally healthy couple. Okay? They want to share with you. Hmm. I mean, it's, it's like a tragic love story in a sense. But I see that this can turn out really, really well because here you guys are as counterparts here. Here you are. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Taurus, Libra, and um, Leo. Energy is here. But this person wants to meet you halfway. And I feel like they're ready to put in the work now. Okay? They may have been a little neglectful before, but I feel like they're ready. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.